Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Sticks and Stones. Uh, back at the drawing board, I had a request for a Native American, which I carve much better than I draw, to tell you the truth. So, we're going to attempt one and see if we can come up with an Indian pattern, or at least an idea of some proportions so you guys can have an Indian to, to carve out. Alright, you're Native American. So, what we're going to do... I think I'm going to start with just eyes here. For, well, let's give ourselves... Let's give ourselves a starting point. Let's just come across like this. Okay. So we have a starting point. And pretty close to that, I want you to draw a straight line. As straight as you can get it. And a straight line. Alright. Now above that, we're going to have some eyebrows. Kind of like that. Let's see if we can come up with that. somebody that looks kind of Native American. All right, we're going to make the start of his nose from here. We're going to come down and make it fairly wide. Okay, we'll give this guy some character. A little hook on it. Just like that. All right. Now we know they got high cheekbones. So, let me start coming in at the top, just like that. And then we're going to come down on both sides. Kind of shoot in a little bit. And then draw a chin. Shoot in a little bit. I don't want to extend that chin there. Let me get my eraser. Try and make it fairly even. Okay. Now, we're going to give him a little teardrop right here, you know, where uh, they say the angel put his finger on you and told you a secret when you were born? What is that called, anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. We're going to start a mouth by just making a line right under that. And you don't want it too frowny and you don't want it too smiley. Now, right here, to go up to his eyes, I'm going to go up and over just a little and make those eyelids up touch the line if you want over but make them fairly small all right we'll give them a pupil I'm gonna color those in black because I always like to envision what I'm making and get a good idea of how he's gonna look now right there I'm gonna go with a straight line if I can underneath and if you can't do that extend these lines a little longer so you can go underneath and make them touch okay let's give them an eye bag a little cheek up here a couple little detail lines I might clean up his jaw a little bit because I really don't like the shape of that I'd like it a little more. There we go. You're going to play with these shapes. Uh, if it doesn't look quite right, take your pencil or whatever you're using and make it a little bigger. And his face is kind of off to me because I'm drawing on the computer, so I just want to kind of straighten that out until I come up with something that I kind of like. I don't want it too round. Like right here, it seems too round for me, so I'm going to change that. I want to come down a little bit more. Like that. Okay, so, you know, do it at, you know, play with it. I think my chair is bumping the camera, I'm sorry. Play with it until you get a shape of a face that you kind of think is okay. And we're going to give him a little bit under this lip here, we're going to do a small lower lip that doesn't touch anything, right? And then right there, under that lip, we're just going to make lines like that. Okay? This right here will be like a shadow when you carve that in. Okay, right, we can give him a little more detail here. I know he doesn't look like an Indian yet. 
going to bring that line down here, this line here, touch them to the head, finish off that headband they'd be wearing. All right. Now from there we can give him a feather right here. I'm going to go to this corner. And I usually put the feathers in afterwards. I carved the feathers separate. Okay. And then I'll insert it. I'm just going to put a couple of lines for the detail to insinuate detail on it. Because remember this is supposed to be a pattern for a carving. And that feather would get put in separate. Okay. Now. Go down. And down right from there and across and across because what we're going to do with this is you know little bands that well, they're not bands really called the uh, they have ear gear and everything else but we're going to make going up it's going to be that his hair will be wrapped in this so I don't know what they call it actually but this would be what wraps his hair Not a expert on Native American culture. But what we're going to do from there is just come down. Make a wisp of hair. Any way you want there. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just kind of give him a ponytail and a couple lines for that. You don't have to put a lot of detail because this would be just a pattern that we could go off of, okay? And right from coming up from here, it would just come up. And you can make his hair any way you want and touch it back down into his headband. You can make that higher. You could put feathers up there. You could give him another feather coming out of his head. And you can give him a second feather here, okay? And again, like I said, I always put these in after I carve it. I know those don't look like feathers in the drawing, but that's all I'm going to need. I usually part their hair right here. And I give them some detail going this way. Okay, and of course his headband I would color in or uh, do whatever. But this right here is a good way to start off a simple Native American face. I mean, when you carve it, you put the lips in and everything, but it's kind of hard for me to do with a pencil. I'm just giving you an idea how you could... Do an Indian. And again, I would play with his face. If I was carving and I didn't like the shape of his face, I might thin it out or make it fatter. It would depend. I like kind of a square jawed Indian. Alright? But if it doesn't look right in the carving, you might want to take wood out or keep it fat. Alright? Uh, you sh should have some smile lines, real deep smile lines going on the side here and some wrinkles. Okay, and then you have to give him some kind of maybe jacket, uh, a deerskin coat or something. Okay, so that come down like that, and maybe bring it, you know, this way and close it off. This would be like a bust, okay. And you could even come in the center here and give him a, a necklace. Maybe put a little tooth or bone or something on it. And there you have a basic drawing of Native American, right? Hopefully that helped you out with some of the features. Uh, like I said, I'd have to carve one for you to really do it. I'm by far not really good. I wonder if we colored them in if you'd be able to see them any better. But that right there is what I'm going to go with. That's what I'm saying. You can believe it or not. That's how I would basically do some <laughs> features if I was going to carve a Native American. Let me see if I can color him in a little bit and see if he looks uh, a little more normal to you. All right could do that I could 
at least get an idea of uh, maybe some colors here. Let me see. This could be... These might be brown, say. Okay. Just to separate everything so you get an idea. And maybe up here. Could be. So you get an idea of... Uh, at least you're not just running a muck in your head. You have a starting point anyway. You know. And we'll come up here and give them... Yeah, I might be able to even do something like that. Now I'm just playing. But you have your Indian. Or your Native American. Or whatever you would uh, refer to as a Native American nowadays. Okay. And you could decolor his little jacket and everything. Now everybody has different features every race, so... You could play with it. And we could try different cultures. And it's really neat to get better and better at drawing faces. Uh, drawing them, like I say, always helps you come up with a little bit better idea of how to carve them. I'm trying to come up with a brown or some kind of color for his jacket here. Or his coat or shirt. I would need more of a brown, I guess. Maybe a light brown, like a deerskin color. You can give you an idea of that. Okay. Feathers would probably be too hard to color without going through a whole paint situation. But there you go. We have a Native American drawing. Hope it helped. I don't know if it did or not, but it was fun to do. <laughs> so, I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll try and get a carving video up soon. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.